let's talk about this real quick. So you mentioned like, okay, getting into hacking some prereqs, Linux and Python. Even some people right now are like, bro, I, I can barely turn on my computer. <laughs> <laughs> like, what, what, what do I need before that? Would you say like a, a help desk level of knowledge would be good enough to start taking that journey? What, what, do, you, what do you think someone needs? Ooh, An another good uh, conversation there. Oh, we're going to hit you up. We're going we're yeah. to knock you out here. <laughs> so I know there is a approach to getting into infosec or getting into cybersecurity, right? Um, and some folks say like, hey, you know, I, I, I climbed the ladder. I started at this help desk job. I got into this IT network engineer and then I got into this, hey, junior penetration tester role. And now I'm like top dog. Now I'm running the team. Yes, that is that is a way to do it. That is absolutely a path. And I agree. And I honor and respect that. At the same time, I think there is a lot of value in you going after the things that you want to do and you're interested in. So to answer your real question there, what about the prerequisites for even, hey, I don't know the difference between a mouse and a keyboard. <laughs> Google, yeah, as you mentioned. And knowing how to use a computer, knowing how to navigate, knowing how to use those keyboard shortcuts to make your life easier, knowing how to, I, I said Google and research, but I don't know, knowing the parts of the computer, knowing networking, knowing, hey, this is an IP address, this is a subnet, this is a blah, blah, blah. I think you don't need to suffer through the textbooks to do that at the very start. Uh, I think if you are just really fascinated and interesting in ethical hacking, then that knowledge will come It'll, it'll come slowly if you don't get that, hey, sit through the textbooks and drone through the lectures, but mm -hmm. it will happen. 